right, everybody, we're back. My first guest is, of course, the star of the NBC series, Ed. And this Sunday, you can see him in the Showtime film, Bang Bang, You're Dead. Please welcome Tom Cavanaugh. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Everything's thanks. good? Things are good. Thanks for having me back. It's always good to have a second shot at ruining a late night talk show host career. <laughs> so that, that's good. You Take know, your best shot. <laughs> all right, here it comes. The uh, last time I was here, I, uh, I brought up to you the fact that my sister, I got my sister tickets uh, to the show and that you danced with her. You picked her out of the audience before the show, danced with her and... I've never done that before. And, and, and that's her, very strange. I must have been this, in a weird mood that night. This, this is a year ago, folks. And uh, anyway, so I got her tickets again uh, about a month ago. And um, she came here with her fiancé again. And this time, you danced not only with her again, but also the fiancé. Um, I'd just like to know what's going on. He has a nice smell. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm See, very I, I drawn to that guy. I told him it was that. It was exactly. Like, no, sure. no, our eyes locked. And it's your sunny you countenance. It's your winning smile. All what that are you going to do? <laughs> good for yeah, you. No. Good for you. So is he here tonight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just might be. Oh, wow. All right. <clears throat> now, um, let's talk about something. Uh, I, I hear rumors. There's talk. There's talk that you like to torture your co-star on the set of Ed. The lovely Julie Bowen, who Julie I've Bowen. met. Uh, angelic. Yes, she, beautiful she's, girl. Well, she's angelic is a great word. You know, that this is one of those people that is, you know, she's she's kind, she's nice, she's talented, she's beautiful. You know, she comes to work every day. She's she's great with everyone, and she couldn't be a nicer person. So, I figure torture her, right? Yes, I mean, that's, that's that's the that's perfect the, answer. That's, the, that's, that's what you have to do to people <laughs> right. like that. She has this uh, irrational fear of uh, rodents. I shouldn't say irrational. You know, people always say, oh, an irrational fear of fear of sharks or, or snakes, and really. That should be a rational fear. Yes, of that's a good thing to be afraid. Of. Yes, right. Otherwise, you end up like the crocodile guy or something. So anyway, um, so uh, so she she doesn't like the she doesn't like the rodents. We're we're filming a scene in the back of the back of the bowling alley, and uh, so I say, you know, there's a, it's it's lousy with rodents back here. And she's like, no, not really. I'm like, I think I'm afraid it is. She goes to get get ready for the scene, and um, the camera guys and I rig together a you know a little fake mouse with a piece of uh, uh, fishing <laughs> fishing wire <laughs> because. That's the kind of thing we do on our show. And, uh, and as soon as she comes back, she's getting ready to do the scene. And in the scene, she has to make a, a little call on her cell phone. And that's the moment we picked to, uh, to bring this little fake mouse uh, toward her. And as you'll see, I brought the, the clip. Oh, you actually, they were filming on this? It looked like Armageddon. This? Yeah, we they made, sure, we made sure they roll. Oh, yeah, because we, we don't want to just humiliate her at work. We figure national television is, is really the way to go with this kind of thing. All right, so this is you surprising her with a fake little mouse. And the thing you might want to watch, you might want to note, is my reaction, which is about as far away from consoling and sympathetic as one fella can get. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh, you playing a, a trick on, on Julie Bowen. Hello? I, I want to... You know... You're... I want to point out, she's really scared in that moment, and, and you, that's like how a sociopath I'm reacts. <laughs> can we see, can, director, can we ask our, 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 our kind director, uh, Mr. Alan Carton, please show that in slow-mo. I want to okay. just no, that, focus thanks. on I Mr. That. Tom, yeah, look at Tom Cavanaugh's <laughs> response <good>. here. <laughs> this is the, that. this is the response. <laughs> Look at that! She's really terrified! Uh, Look at that, that's... You know, it's a... It's probably a darn good thing I didn't connect with one of those haymakers. It made it a lot worse. I know! You could have hit her right yeah, after. Bam, bam. That'd be really funny to As scare her and then enough. knock her out. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> bam! That's right. That's the second part Down of the joke. Down comes Bowen. Yeah, that, would, that wouldn't have been very good. Uh... Now, what, tell us what's, I mean, people want to know, and you should reveal some secrets here. What's going to happen this season on Ed? Huh? Any little we, secrets for We us? have, and I sh probably shouldn't divulge this, but if there's any place to divulge it, obviously it's your it's very show. very late at night, yes. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But... Oh. <laughs> That's how I took it. <laughs> you took it a few years <laughs> You're going to tell any secret, tell it on the air on Conan show. <laughs> uh, you're so self-deprecating. Um, so anyway, uh, so we've come up with this thing on our show, which we feel that if it works, we may just revolutionize network television. Um, we, scientific term, and stay with me, it's kind of complicated, but we have come up with something called, you ready? Yeah. The love triangle. Love triangle. 
Yeah, bear, it's very hard, but let me explain. Say you have two people who are attracted to one another, right. much as, say, for example, you and I, or, you know. And then you bring in a third person. And the next thing you know, that throws a wrench into the workings of the first two people. Right. And next thing you know, you have... You got this crazy tension going on. Triangle. Exactly. Yeah, I just feel that... I know it's a long shot, but if this thing works... <laughs> We, what if know, the other networks get a hold of this that, secret? That's why we're revealing it on your show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, this sure. is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, Stick with that. Yeah. yeah, thanks, thanks. Stick with that. Yeah, sure. Now, I've heard that you can, um, you like to, uh, I, I love revealing these things about you, but you, you have this penchant for consuming massive amounts of food. Is that true? That, yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, it's funny, you could cure cancer, but people would want to talk about how many hot dogs you can eat. Um, I, uh, I do, I have. I'm not proud of it. But I'm not a guy who can readily refuse a bet. And um, on our set, there's lots of bets. And Julie exacted revenge on me recently by, uh, the, OK, well, <laughs> there were 18 greasy uh, hot dogs left in a pan. And she bet me uh, that I could not eat you know, all the hot dogs with buns um, in 30 minutes. And you did. And I did. Now, doesn't that make you want to be... That's, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Wow. <laughs> See, yeah. That's the great response you get. And I cured cancer. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. I didn't realize, I we, had hot a, dogs. I didn't realize oh. we had a circus crowd here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I ate 60 hot dogs and then bit the head off a chicken. <laughs> Yay! What did you learn today? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, now, doesn't it make you sick to do that? Uh, you know... I, it doesn't really. It doesn't really make me sick. My, my pride takes a hit, certainly, but really, uh, uh, I feel I function just fine. Right. See, my response to "I bet you can't eat those forty greasy hot dogs" would be like, "Yeah, that'd be tough," you know, and then <laughs> that's and then why, walk away and have a sensible salad. That's why you are where you are. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, Thanks. That's I guess why, that is why no, I'm here. And I mean that as a compliment. Yeah, I'm sure. Now listen, I'll get you yet, Kavanaugh. I'll get you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened today? I went on Conan, and I think he thought I insulted him. I no, was no, to be... I'm just kidding. Now, uh, let's talk about Bang Bang, You're Dead. Okay, yes. This is quite, this is a different tone. Yes, uh, yes, it's... This it's, isn't uh, a comedy situation. It's not, no, it's a, it's a movie, it's a Showtime movie, um, which uh, examines uh, violence in the uh, present-day school system. Um, right. So, an important topic, and uh, we're hoping that some people will, uh, will watch, and uh, hopefully somebody will learn something is it a documentary format or is it I or is it's it not, a no it's uh it's uh it's it's actually a, a script um based on a, on a play written by a fellow named will master simone who, who wrote this thing after uh, his his uh one of his uh, kids classes were uh, were threatened mm -hmm. and um it uh it's very raw it's, it's uh, handheld camera kind of stuff um but uh, it's not a documentary although it is based loosely on uh some of the shootings we've witnessed over the like last... Like some of the famous ones something. that we all know now Colum about. Columbine, Paducah, right. these, kind of, these kind of things. It, mir it mirrors them, I would say, yes. Right. So that sounds like something fairly heavy. Uh... It, it is, actually. You know, I, I'm apologize for bringing it up on, on no, your that's, show. But, no, uh, it's a, but it sounds but like it is, it's a good uh, thing. I think it is a good thing. The, the, the lead is played by this uh, gentleman named Ben Foster, a young kid who couldn't be... He was, he's letter perfect in the role. He's, he's just great. All right, well, that's, uh, I think that's a fine thing to, to, to bring up because it's a good project. Bang Bang, You're Dead premieres Sunday night at 8 on Showtime. And Ed airs Wednesday nights at 8 right here on NBC. Tom, thanks for being here. Thank you, good to have you. Tom Cavanaugh, we'll take a break when we come back. Rachel Gratch, stick around. <laughs> Yeah, my baby.